हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग माई सेल्फ सी पटेल एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक टोटो मरीन ओके सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम द स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमरिज्म फॉर द जेई पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टोटोमरिज्म इज दैट आइसोमराइजेशन विच इन्वॉल्व सो बेसिकली इन टोटोमरिज्म देर इज द स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमराइजेशन दैट इज द कीटो फॉर्म चेंजेस टू इनोल फॉर्म इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एसिड और बेस सो टोटोमरिज्म इज अ प्रोसेस इन विच सपोज दिस इज एसीटोन दैट इज द कीटो फॉर्म इट चेंजेस टू इनोल फॉर्म ओके सो द कीटो फॉर्म चेंजेस टू इनोल फॉर्म दिस इज टाइप ऑफ फंक्शनल आइसोमर एंड वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग इट इन अ फंक्शनल आइसोमर वी गेव अ स्पेशल नेम टू इट दैट इज टोटोमर्स ओके सो दिस इज द कीटो फॉर्म एंड दिस इज द इनोल फॉर्म एंड दिस आर इंटर कन्वर्टेबल ओनली इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एसिड और बेस ओके सो टोटोमर्स आर रेडली इंटर कन्वर्टेबल बट यू हैव टू जस्ट यूज एसिड और बेस एज अ कैटलिस्ट ना सो टोटोमरिज्म इज दैट आइसोमरिज्म विच इन्वॉल्व चेंज इन पॉजिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन आइटम ओनली ओके सो लेट सी हि the hydrogen atom from this carbon has changed and so there is only two hydrogen atoms so we can say that the change in hydrogen atoms takes place okay but here it is only okay but we see that the sigma bond sorry the extra pi bond has been formed here between these two carbon okay so change in position of pi bond only no change in position of hydrogen atom as well as change in position of a pi bond so we see here there is one pi bond formation here and this pi bond has been broken down so the change in hydrogen atom of this carbon as well as pi bond of this co bond has also been changed here so we can say that in tautomerism position of hydrogen atom as well as change in position of pi bond both occurs so option c is the correct for this and more about the tautomerism tautomerism is an intramolecular process sorry not intra that is intermolecular process okay and this h hydrogen comes from the solvent okay you have the solvent if you have the solvent d2o then here deuterium plus will be joined to this and it will be od okay now second problem is tautomers are so we know that tautomers are readily interconvertible okay but a catalyst is required so this is absolutely correct the first statement is absolutely correct that are readily convertible but you need a catalyst that is acid or base so let's see a mechanism for base catalyzed tautomerism here how a base is responsible for the tautomerism okay so let's see here suppose we have acetone okay so this hydrogen is acidic hydrogen because when this hydrogen is abstracted then the carbon ion will be formed and this carbon ion will be in conjugation with this carbon ion will be in conjugation with this co group so the it will produce a stable intermediate okay so this is an acidic hydrogen okay this is an acidic hydrogen in the presence of base that is let oh minus this acidic hydrogen is abstracted by the base and this carbon ion is formed that is ch2 minus now there is a resonance between this carbon ion and pi that is carbon and pi conjugation and it will have the resonating structures like this ch3 c o negative double bond ch2 now this o negative as acidic in nature sorry basic in nature so it will abstract h plus from the solvent suppose it is solvent is water then it will just pick out h plus from the water 
and it will form the enol form and this is the enol form okay so tautomers are readily interconvertible this is absolutely correct but a catalyst is required and if OH minus H not present in the solution then this hydrogen this abstraction of hydrogen will not take place and the conversion of K2 to enol form is not possible in that case now coming to 64 question number tautomers have same physical properties but different chemical properties absolutely not because the tautomers have one is keto form and one is enol form so basically they have different functional groups so they will not have the same physical properties as well as they will have the different chemical properties also because the functional group is changed so the compound is completely changed so all the physical and chemical properties will be different from the tautomers so option number c is will will be the correct of answer because they will have different physical and chemical properties because of the different functional group present in the tautomers now let's do the question number 55 tautomers exist in a state of dynamic equilibrium and that is the keto form changes to enol and enol form changes to keto form which of the following statement is true about the tautomers they can't be separated this is absolutely incorrect because the separation of tautomers is possible and they have been separated but they will be separated only if the amount of both the forms are in significant that is significant so the significant amount should be there so that they will have different boiling points and they can be separated so they can be separated in the absence of any catalyst especially when both the tautomers are in good proportion so this will be the correct answer for this so if a keto form is 99.2 percent and if enol form is 0.8 percent then separation is not possible but if keto form is 40 percent and enol form is 60 percent then separation is done so tautomers can be separated only if they both exist in significant amount now coming to question number 66 which among these are tautomers okay so let's see this is the keto form okay so if you try to make the enol form of this acetone okay then first this hydrogen will be abstracted and this bond will be broken down and new pi bond will be formed this bond be, will be broken down and this will be the in all form that will take H plus from the solvent and again in all form this will be formed okay so one that is the acetone that is the keto form and this is the enol form that is three so one and three are tautomers so option b is the correct for this case now coming to question number 67 the tautomer of one is so again see here this is the acidic hydrogen okay and if base will be there or acid this hydrogen in presence of base will be abstracted and a pi bond will be formed okay here and here the pi bond will be broken down now this o minus will accept h plus from the solvent and this is the enol form that is formed here so the tautomer of one is this is the keto form and the enol form is two so option two is the correct for this so now coming to the next problem 68 tautomer of 2 h okay so let's see here this is the enol form that is the phenol now in this case in this case this is the keto form 
here this is the first list first hydrogen this is second abstraction of this hydrogen is not possible by applying a base because this is S I, this is sp2 carbon and this bond is a stronger so and also this we can see here abstraction of this will produce a more stable carbon ion because this will be in conjugation with this so if we abstract the hydrogen from this then this will be carbon ion formed and this will be in conjugation with this that is the linear conjugation up to there and in that case the product will be like that that is the phenoxide ion and it will abstract H plus from the solution and it will form benzene. So 3 is the keto form of the 2. Now let's see for the first. In that case this is the acidic hydrogen and it can be abstracted and it will also produce the same phenol. So it will also produce the same phenol. So again one is also a keto form of two. So basically two is the tautomer of both one and three. So option C is the correct in that case. Coming to the next one. This molecule can be enolized using. So enol formation of this molecule can be done with the abstraction of which of the following hydrogen. So this is the alpha hydrogen, this is the beta and this is the gamma hydrogen. And I have previously said that the hydrogen attached with sp2 carbon can't be abstracted because this bond will be stronger. So in that case, H gamma will be abstracted and here again phenol will be formed. So this is the gamma H that can be abstracted. Now. Question number 17, which among these are tautomers? Okay, let's see. Here, no tautomer is possible because this is ether. Tautomers is only possible if the compound has acidic hydrogen as well as it has minus M group. Okay, there is no minus M group that, so it will not be possible here. The minus M group should be ketonic or aldehydic okay so again in that case is the tautomer possible so it looks like the enol form okay so let's see here o h c h double bond c h c h c this is the enol form and if you want to make it keto form then again we have to go back there will be hydrogen and CH minus CH3 and again this C minus will abstract hydrogen and it will form ketone form that is the aldehyde okay and again for this also we see that if we we want to find the keto form of this then it will be like that that will be acetone so the keto form of this acetone sorry this acetone is this in all form of this acetone is this and the keto form of this is this so none of these are related with each other so none of these are tautomers coming to question number 21 the tautomer of two each so this is the question of 2 that is the molecule and the tautomer of 2 is so if we do the tautomerization then this hydrogen will be abstracted out and there will be carbon ion okay and this will just tautomerize and O- minus will be there that will abstract hydrogen from the solution and become OH. So 3 is the enol form of 2. Okay. So in that case, the correct option is 
B. Coming to the next one, tautomer of two each. So again, that is the oxygen formation. So if we see the first, that is the nitro form and it tautomerizes like that. That is the minus same group present and base will abstract this hydrogen. So carbon ion will be there and the oxygen form will be this and this will abstract hydrogen from the solution and will form this. So one and two are related as tautomer. So tautomer of two is one in that case. Now coming to the question number 73. Tautomer of one H. So again, this is the first and acidic hydrogen is this. So it tautomerizes like this. Okay, this hydrogen will be abstracted out. So here will be pi bond, here will be single bond, sigma bond. So this will be like that and this O minus will abstract hydrogen from the solution and will form CH2, C double bond, COH, Cl. So this will be the enol form for this. So one and two are related as tautomers. So option A is the correct for this case. Now coming to the question number 74. Tautomer for of third inch. Tautomer of third inch. Okay. So this is the third. And in this case, this is the ester. And acidic hydrogen is this one. So acidic hydrogen will be abstracted and it will form like that. And again, there will be the resonance structure like that. There will be pi bond formed O minus O E T. And then hydrogen will be abstracted from the solution and it will form CH2COH OAT. So we see that second option that is this molecule is similar to this molecule. So the enol form of this is second. So they are related at tautomer of each other. Now coming to question number 25. Tautomer of 1H. So in this case, if it tautomerizes, then the acidic hydrogen will be extracted from this carbon and this carbon ion will be formed and again there will be the resonant structure, resonating structure here that is O- minus and NH2 and again hydrogen H plus will be taken from the sorry H2O that is the from water H plus will be taken and it will be formed the other tautomeric forms. So the tautomer of one is the second. So option A is the correct in that case. Now Let's similarly see for the second one. There is two acidic hydrogen present in this substrate. One acidic hydrogen is this one and this is also acidic. So there is also chances of chance chance of abstraction of this hydrogen. So it will form this and again if it tautomerizes Again, it takes from hydrogen from the H2O that is the solvent and it forms this. So we see that the third is also possible. So third is also a form, tautomeric form of first. So both two and three. This is the correct answer for the question number 25. So that's the end of this lecture. In the next lecture, I will discuss the further questions. Thank you.